I'm going to show you the best blitz in Madden 22. This is two-man pressure that you can get against Gun Bunch, Max Protect. It's consistent. It's going to come in every single time, no matter if they Max Protect, if they don't block anybody whatsoever. As you see right here, simple two-man pressure against Gun Bunch, Max Protect. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are talking about the Nickel Triple. This is probably the my favorite defense in the game right now. I think it's the most consistent consistent and effective defense especially against the gun bunch meta offense in Madden 22 so if you want to get my entire nickel triple defensive ebook it is on sale for just $15 I'm going to put a link there down below in the comment section this guide literally has so much a gap pressure it's not even funny so let's dive into the video cover three sky you can do it out of any play the setup's real simple. We're going to show blitz. We're going to blitz the safety. And honestly, that's all you need to do, and the blitz is going to come in pretty much every time. As you see right there, really good blitz. But we're going to drop some coverage, and we're going to make this even better. So what I like to do is show blitz, blitz the safety. I'll take the linebacker that's in the A gap right there, and I'll, or in the B gap, and I'll man him up on the running back. This is going to help in case they block the running back. Then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and drop zones all across that backside and basically create a Mabel concept. And what you're going to see is the two-man pressure is going to actually work probably even better than the five-man pressure. Now, the number one way that most people like to pick up pressure out of Gun Bunch, especially since the 3-3-5 wide has become probably the number one defense that most people are running this year, is they love to put the tight end on a delay fade. Well, what you're going to notice here is if I put my Titan on a delay fade, it's not going to pick this pressure up. The pressure is going to be very consistent, as you can see right there, and it's going to come in even if they delay fade. So then what they're going to do from what they're going to do next is they're going to block the running back. Now, I will tell you that in this example, um, practice mode can be a little bit weird when it comes to blocking the running back and makes it a little bit more consistent than it is in game. Sometimes he does come over and slide over there. Now, there are two ways, two solutions that we can do um, in case we're worried about a blocked running back. The first one is we can simply QB contain this guy and slide him in a little bit off the edge. I don't like to do that because I don't like to have to manually uh, slide people in and out. But this is a very effective tactic, especially if they are going to block their running back. You're going to typically be able to get that two-man pressure coming in off the left edge. Okay, so that's kind of option A. Option B is what we're going to do is at the snap of the ball, we are going to hold left trigger. And we are going to basically, uh, we're going to kind of get a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage, kind of stay in like right in here. And we're going to come down and then basically shift to the right. You see that that pulls the running back out of the way. And it allows us to kind of push the pocket and get some pressure on the quarterback. So I'll show you that adjustment one more time. Again, we're going to show blitz. We're going to man the running back up with that backside guy. We're going to blitz the safety. We're going to drop zones all across the left or the right side. And then I'm standing right here and I'm going to hold left trigger. Ideally, I would hold left trigger and right trigger and kind of come down and outside. And as you see the running back, I basically pull the running back away from the line of scrimmage just like that. And it allows me to get the pressure. So then once you can get this pressure to work consistently against both of those situations. They're going to go ahead and they're going to start max protecting. They're going to block their tight end and their running back. Well, if they do that, again, left trigger down, pull the running back out of the way. And that time he was able to come over and make a play. But for the most part, he's not going to be able to be a very consistent pass protector against this because he can get so easily manipulated by our user. And again, I'm going to show what this looks like here in just a moment. But this is why I love this nickel triple defense. So again, I'm going to max protect. I'm going to hold left trigger, bring it down. And as you see right there, we get two man pressure. We're only sending two people, and we're coming in consistently against Gun Bunch, which is the number one offense in the game, and probably the number one pass protecting formation in the game, Max Protect. They're blocking everybody that they know how to block, and as you see right there, we're getting instant pressure right off the edge. This is why the nickel triple, in my opinion, is the best defense in the game. It's the best defense you're going to find on YouTube. I would challenge you to find anybody else out there that has posted blitzes like this that are so consistent in situations like this against the number one offense. So I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. If you want to start running this blitz and you want to start running the nickel triple defense as a whole, I would ask that you would go ahead and go down to the description or go down to the comments and click 
on uh, click on the link that I put down there there where you can get the defensive guide. Thanks for watching the video. The guide is only 15 bucks. We show you how to stop everything, how to have great run defense and incredible pressures. We have a ton of A gap nano defensive tackle A gap blitzes in this defense. So I absolutely love it. I think this is probably my favorite defense so far this year from a balanced perspective uh, perspective. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the defensive ebook, head down to the comment section. There's a link that I pinned down there. You can click on that link and it'll take you right over the website and you can get the defense for just 15 bucks.